Hi preschoolers! Today I'm going to read you a book called Old Mother Hubbard and that is a nursery rhyme or a poem like we've been learning all year long so there's going to be rhyming words in this book but we I picked this book for now too because we're starting to learn about pets and Old Mother Hubbard has a pet dog and here's a funny picture of some dogs Old Mother Hubbard. Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard. Does Hubbard and cupboard sound the same? To fetch her poor dog a bone. Look at his face. Does he look hungry? But when she got there, the cupboard was bare. And so the poor dog had none. He's even crying, he's so hungry. She went to the tailor's to buy him a coat. Look at this nice coat. And let's see if there's gonna be a rhyming word with coat. What do you think might rhyme with coat? She went to the tailor's to buy him a coat. The tailor is a person who makes clothes. But when she came back, he was riding a goat. Goat and coat rhyme. She went to the hatter to buy him a hat. So a hatter is someone who makes a hat. But when she came back, he was washing the cat. So... Cat rhymes with hat. She went to the barber's to buy him a wig. This is my pretend wig. <laughs> Do you think a dog needs a wig? But when she came back, he was dancing a jig. Jig is another word for dance, or it's a type of dance. So you've got jig and wig. She went to the cobbler's to buy him some shoes. Cobbler is the person who makes the shoes. Remember when we sang all around the cobbler's bench? That's who makes shoes. So she went to the cobbler's to buy him a shoe, some shoes. And when she came back, he was reading the news. News and shoes rhymes. Does your mom and dad ever read the newspaper? The dame made a curtsy, the dog made a bow. Oh look, now he's got his coat and his wig and his hat and his shoes. The dame says, your supper. The dog said, bow wow. <laughs> so he finally got a great big bone. He looks pretty happy about that. And there's our puppy dogs again, all wearing silly things. The end.